Hey y'all, what's up? So, do you know the difference between the love of Jesus and the love of the world? I'm hoping I can put that into perspective. The world, the way the world loves you and the way that I've seen the world love you is they say, I love you, I love you, I love you, and then they look at what they can get out of you. They look at how you can benefit them. They look at they, they look at you as something that they could um, use for their benefit. And they're going to tell you that they love you in hopes that you'll believe that they love you, that the world loves you, and that you'll somehow be guiltied into to loving them. And when you don't, when they can't get something out of you, when they, they, uh, they're mad because you say no to their request, they become angry and they start shouting, you don't love me, you don't love me. And this world, it, it's about it's about benefiting them. It's, it's not about true love. Now, the love that Jesus shows us is so much better. Jesus looked at you and he said, I do not need you. I do not need anything from you. But he looked at his father and said, God, I want them. I want them. What does it take for me to have them? I don't need them. I want them. Jesus had to give up his kingdom. Jesus had to be born of a virgin. Jesus had to live on the earth sinless. Jesus had to go to that cross and die for something he never did. He had to die for us, the sinner. He had to be beaten, bruised, and tortured. He had to have flesh ripped from his skin. He had to have a crown of thorns shoved into his skull while the blood ran down his face. He had to be hung on a cross he had to die in pain and agony. And he had to watch his father turn away from him. So that Jesus could have us. And then... Jesus went a step further and said, I bought and paid for them, but I'm not going to force them to love me. I'm not going to force them to choose me. I want them to come to me on their own. I want them to come to me because they love me. Because they want me and that they realize that I love them. I chose them. I thought of them before they were even born. I loved them before they could even love themselves. Jesus has written the ultimate love story. And yet so many reject him. There is a price to pay for rejecting Jesus. Do not get that wrong. You know, people say... How could a loving God send people to hell? God doesn't send you to hell. Jesus doesn't send you to hell. You send yourself to hell by rejecting the payment that Jesus gave at the cross of Calvary. Jesus doesn't expect anything from you. You know... When I, I choose to be led by the Holy Spirit, I choose 
for God to use me for his kingdom. I choose. I choose. I choose to be obedient to the Holy Spirit. I choose to be obedient to God and Jesus. I choose to warn you about what's coming. I choose to read my Bible. I choose for to ask the Holy Spirit to show me what it means. I choose. I chose to build a relationship with Jesus. I chose to reject the world. I chose it. Jesus expects nothing from me. Jesus doesn't force me. Jesus doesn't doesn't say I love you, I love you, and then get mad at me when I tell him no. He may get upset when I tell him no. But he allows me to choose. He protects me. belong to Jesus. I it it upsets me when I stumble and fall. It upsets me when I fall short of the glory of God because I want to please Jesus. I want to do the right thing. I want to be the woman that I was created to be, not what the world wants me to be. I want my life to reflect Jesus. I don't want my life to reflect the world. Am I going to stumble and fall? Yes. But Jesus loves me. And I want to. I want that to shine through. Time is short. I hope you choose Jesus. If not, there's consequences. But at least you get the choice. Remember, you choose. Alright, I'm going to get off here. Bye, y'all.